Hi, it's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop in Charlton, Massachusetts, and today we're working on power hammers. I just want to say thank you to all the uh, followers on the channel. The channel's growing great, and uh, please remember to subscribe, tell all your friends, and leave the comments and the likes, and remember to ring that little bell so when the new videos come up. Uh, one thing I do love about the channel is all the feedback, all the uh, comments. There's some really good comments. I try to read every single one. And uh, if you want to ask a question, you can ask it in the comments. It's more, I'm more likely to answer a question in the comments. And oftentimes people, they'll send me four or five uh, questions in an email. And I'm so busy in the day, I, I sometimes miss them. So this week I did get an interesting email. In fact, I kind of ignored it. I thought it was a spam thing, but uh, Mark found it and said, wow, this guy Mike's got some great ideas to help build our channel and what, what it's Mike's idea was was that we have these real great nuggets of information in some of our 222 videos so we're going to follow up on what Mike uh, suggested and Mark is going to extract some of these nuggets from these uh, videos that we've done in the past so Mark is going to put together uh, the best of uh, little compendium. I hope you enjoy it. So one of the things, that, the first thing you do is putting the panel into the English wheels. You see people go like this, and oh yeah, you can do that. If you've got hardened wheels, the bottom wheels, uh, even then, it, it's not a good practice because it can draw you in. I prefer to go in at a 45 degree angle and you just walk right in very easily. Running the panel in the wheels is the first thing you're going to have to learn how to do, how to navigate over the panel. How do you get over to here? We just kind of go and over you go. When you first do this for the first time, it's not that simple. It takes about five to ten minutes for most people to learn how to navigate on a panel. But then once you learn how to navigate, you can do it blindfolded. So what we're going to do is we're, we're navigating through the panel and we've got a pressure and all my wheels I have one red uh, marker on my wheel to find out where I'm at so I'm here and if I kept wheeling at that pressure it would probably take me about three years to make this panel so that means the machine is telling me I'm getting the feedback from the panel that I don't have enough pressure so what do I do I got to increase the pressure so I could increase the pressure to way over here, but that might be a little extreme. Let's take it a little at a time. So we went about uh, from 9 o'clock to say 12 o'clock. So we turned it uh, 90 degrees and a little bit's happening now. You feel a little bit more resistance as you push through, but let's try it this way. Now we've gone 180 degrees, we're at 3 o'clock. Now there's a little more resistance. It's feeling pretty good. And it wouldn't matter if this was steel or aluminum. A lot of people on the comments are saying, oh boy, I, I know you, you like that aluminum, but I do all steel work. Can you show some steel? So I've got a piece of 20 gauge in here. If I had a piece of 18 gauge, it would just take a little longer to, to make it move. So the idea here is to track more in the center than on the edges, but you can't do just the center. Because if you do just the center, you'll get a big rib raised up there. Now as you can see, the panel is starting to shine up. It doesn't matter whether it's copper or brass or bronze or aluminum or steel. If your wheels are polished, it will shine up really nice. You're printing that buff from the top wheel right onto the panel. So 
So now, as we go through that cycle, we, we, we did a lot in the middle and we got uh, sort of a low to medium pressure and we've got the panel going this way now. We've let it go that way, we've let it droop down. But let's see what we actually have. Just a few minutes and it's a pretty low crown pan wheel and you can see what we have there is a, a, a crown in the center that uh, diminishes towards the end, diminishes towards the sides. So let's see how far we actually went. And this has no reverse in, or anything in it, it's just a standard compound curve. So if we put that like that, we have about seven eighths of an inch of rise in the panel. So it only took a few minutes to get to seven eighths of an inch with that pressure. If we gave it more pressure, we'd probably get a little more rise. So let's put it in again and we'll give it a little more pressure. So you see what's happening here is I'm allowing the panel to droop down like that, which causing it to vibrate and I'm getting a little bit of a little surface anomaly from those vibrations. But I'm going to take this flat wheel as far as I can to show this is just a demonstration to show how much you can get a uh, crown you can get out of just a flat wheel. And you get into a decent rhythm here and go pretty fast. The more you go over to the edges, the more you take the shape out. The more you stay in the middle, the more the shape goes in. Now this doesn't look anything like the fender piece and that's the mystery of the magic of shaping is you don't worry about it looking like the piece until the end because you're working this out of arrangement. In this case here, you're definitely working it out of arrangement. Later on in the development of the panel, you'll work it in arrangement. What is arrangement? Arrangement is the bending that makes it conform to the shape that you really want. We're taking advantage um, of the power of the English wheel which allows you to work a panel in this curl arrangement for quite a while with just a low crown wheel and yet it will yield a high crown panel. In this case it would be a medium crown or so, but you can't even get a high crown out of it. So we haven't been given any attention to the ends of the panel, so I'm going to give the ends just a little bit of attention here, just so I don't get a uh, sharp difference in the surface flow. There's this end i got to do this way, and then I'll bring it over to this end, and do this end. Now that was a few more minutes. And let's see where we're at now. So, there's my low crown wheel. And obviously, that's not a really a low crown panel. So now I'm probably two inches or better in crown on that panel. All right, hope you enjoyed that. I'm going back to working on this power hammer. This is Ray Shaleen from Pro Shaper Workshop in Charlton, Massachusetts. Remember to please subscribe, tell all your friends, leave the comments, give us the likes, and hit that little notification bell. Remember, metal is clay.